for breakfast, I made another pumpkin pie smoothie. I know I showed you guys this a lot. And I just wanted to give you my smoothie tips. So I add in all my ingredients and then I blend it for like probably 15, 20 seconds. Just get everything like kind of in there. And then after I blend it, I add in five to six ice cubes. And then I give another blend for like 30, 60 seconds and you get a super creamy texture. I had to get a few things from Whole Foods, so let me show you what I got. First, these Plant Boss Plant Crumbles, they're really awesome. They are soy free, they're made with pea protein, and they're really delicious. They have a nice amount of protein, and I really like these. Then I got some seitan. This is the Blackbird one. I have seitan is really good, and I love seitan. The pre cooked, I love to make my own homemade seitan, but the pre cooked seitan just makes my life a lot easier. Then I got a bunch of Siggy's yogurts. These yogurts are so good. They're 10 grams of protein, and like anywhere from 170 to 190 calories. So I like to add some protein powder into those actually and like peanut butter and stuff and make like something yummy. I got a Brussels sprout salad thing, like shaved Brussels sprout so I could use it. High protein tofu, it's my favorite tofu. The cucumber, I hate that they wrap these in plastic. It's just the dumbest thing. Neil, one more thing, just be quiet for one second. This is Orgain almond milk protein. So I usually use the ripple, but they didn't have any ripple. So I decided to try this. Since I mostly put it in my smoothies, I figured it would be okay. So I'll report back on how this is. Really quick lunch today because I have a phone call at three o'clock and it's 2.40. So in this sandwich here, I have the 647 potato bread and then I did the Hooray Bacon Foods bacon. I did two strips, some tofurkey, some vegan cheddar, vegan mayo, a little bit of that romesco, some clementine. Here I have little baby bell peppers that I stuffed with the Trader Joe's. Buffalo dip. There you go, yummy lunch. For dinner, I was super in the mood for potatoes for some reason, so I cut up one yellow potato and I'm gonna air fry it with a bunch of seasonings. And then I use some seitan. I really do love the pre-made seitans. It just makes everything easier. And this is really good to air fry too. Add a little bit of seasonings and I just give like a little bit of coconut oil spray. And then I'm gonna add some green beans on the side and some corn. Frozen veggies are just, they're a lifesaver. They make everything better. Pop into the microwave and add some vegan tzatziki and that was it. Super delicious dinner. And then for a little dessert, I had some vegan yogurt and I mixed that with some PB Fit. My rule is that if I'm mixing it, I'll use PB Fit, but if I'm using it as a topping, then I use a nice creamy peanut butter, which I'm doing here. Added some vegan chocolate chips, someone from Enjoy Life, some vegan marshmallows, and just a really super easy and yummy dessert. All right, it is Tuesday night, or Tuesday, Wednesday night at 9.23 p.m. I figured I'll just tell you calories for the day. You wanna know them? 16.65 consumed. 121 grams of protein, 214 grams of carbs, and 56 grams of fat. So, good day of eating. I'm just doing a little more work before I call it quits. Somebody just commented on the vlog that I just uploaded and was like, oh, can you like talk about your uh, workouts? But just in case this isn't clear, I'll just say it here. I work out five to six times a week. Monday, Wednesday, Friday are cardio days. Tuesday and Thursday are strength and cardio. Either a 30 or 45 minute strength with either 15 or 30 minutes of cardio just to make up the hour whatever it is usually saturday and sunday are rest days if i am home and not at my boyfriend's i will work out maybe on saturday or sunday depends on how i'm feeling depends on the week and that is how i do things i just wanted to say that i'll see you guys tomorrow Good morning it is thursday morning which means it is a strength slash cardio day so <clears throat> today i think i will be doing a 30 minute strength class on the peloton and then i'll do a 30 minute bike ride i might keep it like an easier bike ride because tomorrow will be the big running day let me show you guys this outfit because it's actually a pretty cute one all right like we've discussed this is not a vlogging camera by any means these leggings are from athleta they're old they're like pretty old my shoes are the adidas cloud foam there's roxy and then this top is from Amazon. I got it last year. It's really cute. The only thing I don't like is how the boob padding is. It's a little weird. Really cute. It has these crossovers that hopefully you could see and hopefully the tripod's not blocking. Let me see if I put my arm out more maybe. But yeah, cute little outfit. I'm sitting here stretching before I work out and I had a thought. Peloton has boot camp classes that are like a combination of like cardio and strength. And I've never done one. I've been too scared. I don't know why because it's like, exactly what I like to do. So maybe I should just do a boot camp class. Okay, I found this class from 314.22. It's an hour. There are, a lot of them are hour, 45 minutes, half hour. I wanna do an hour. This one has a lower difficulty. The other one's at like 8.8. So I'll try this one since it's my first time doing it and I've never done it before. And I do a lot of Jess Sims classes, so I know how she structures things. Let's try it. I finished the boot camp. I'm very sweaty. I 
think it was a good workout. I mean, it was 60 minutes and I didn't even burn 500 calories though. Like I know I can burn um, way more doing how I do it, usually like a 30 minute strength and then 30 minute cardio individually, not mixed in together. I did like it, the class flew by cause you're going back and forth, back and forth. But I don't know if I'll make those like a permanent thing in my routine. I don't know, like I said, it just was like very frustrating to see like, you know, it was like, you started to make progress on the bike and then I was like, get off the bike. Then it was like, you start to feel the strength class and then it's like, we're back on the bike. So yeah, I don't know, we'll see if I take more of those. I don't know if I'll make them like a neat thing in my schedule, but it was fun to do something different. Obviously, like I did get a great workout in, like I'm drenched in sweat. I just, I almost feel like I worked out for an hour and I feel like I could keep working out. Like not that I should feel dead after a workout, but I'm just like, oh, like I could easily do like another 15 minute Peloton ride or something. Maybe I just didn't work hard enough in the class. Maybe it just wasn't a challenging enough class for me. That morning I decided to wing making some pumpkin protein waffles and it came out so good. So I added in all my dry ingredients and I just gave it a whisk. And then I added in my wet ingredients. which was pretty much just like pumpkin and non-dairy milk and vanilla extract and whisked it again until it got my desired texture. You might have to add some water into like pumpkin stuff makes everything really thick. And then I added into my waffle maker. And then on the side, I just heated up some vegan just egg and added a little vegan cheese to that. Just because I like to have a little bit of savory and a little bit of sweet. And I added some clementines, a little maple syrup, and these were so good. Absolutely delicious, 10 out of 10. Hi friends, it is 2.35. I've been just doing work on the computer all morning, doing editing for the recipe that's coming on Saturday. Well, the recipe that came on Saturday. It will have already, that recipe, the pumpkin bread recipe will have already been up. I had put my makeup on so I could film my intro and look presentable. It's funny because in the vlogs, I feel like I just, I don't care. Like, I'm just like, eh, whatever. These are supposed to be more like personable. And in my intros, I'm like, no, no, you must have like your hair done and your makeup on and like, whatever. I'll make lunch pretty soon. Those pumpkin waffles this morning, they were so good. Like you have to make those. My mom was like, the kitchen smells amazing. It smells so good. This looks amazing. They were really, really good. So you have to try them. I don't know what I'm going to make for lunch. I don't know what I'm in the mood for. I don't, I could like go for a million different things right now. So we'll see what I come up with. I wanted to make like a lentil salad. So I took some of the lentils and added the shaved Brussels sprouts. And then I just cooked this on the stove and I added in some butternut squash too. I made the bonza chickpea pasta and I just cooked that until it was ready to go. I added a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of balsamic glaze and some salt and walnuts to the little salad. On the vegan pasta, I put some vegan buffalo dip from Trader Joe's nutritional yeast and non-dairy milk and made a super creamy, delicious pasta. For dinner tonight, I took some super firm tofu, cut it up, coated it in like two grams of cornstarch and then added garlic powder, salt, and then a little bit of teriyaki sauce that I watered down and mixed in there. Really delicious. Half of the Trader Joe's scallion pancakes and some string beans. Okay, for my snack dessert tonight, I have some lesser evil popcorn, some mini vegan marshmallows. These are from the Dandies brand and some chocolate chips. It is currently 8.03 and I ate dinner, I have my dessert. Let's just do some macros real quick for the day. So today was 1,644 calories, 103 grams of protein, 196 grams of carbs, and 53 grams of fat. Ate a lot of yummy stuff today. I hope maybe this was a more interesting day because I finally like tried some new things and new recipes. I'm supposed to FaceTime with friends in a little bit and I'll probably just do a little more work until we FaceTime and that'll be my night. Good morning, it's five mile Friday, which has actually turned into six mile Friday. So really quickly, I have on these leggings, which are adorable. They're from Victoria's Secret, but they're old. They're so cute, I love them. And then this shirt's from American Eagle, which I actually don't recommend. I don't love this shirt in particular, but whatever. My good old running sneakers. Do I have to get a vlogging camera now? Like, this is, this is just ridiculous, this camera. Oh my God. What? Team, one hour, 6.11 miles. Guys, it was the fastest. It was the fastest today. We got, I got six miles in 56, 50. Here are the workout splits. I did really good for like the first three miles. I killed it, 835, 813. That was, that was fast. They do the challenges on the Peloton. And this month I ran 53.9 miles. That really bothered me that it's not 54, but that's pretty, pretty good. Run was done. I did my weigh-in because as you guys know by now, hopefully Friday's weigh-in day. And one pound down since last Friday. So that's really good. So there's, that's one pound down, 10.8 pounds to go. And that makes me feel really good. The dogs want to go out. They have to go 
we have to go to the bathroom and eat so i'm gonna make this quick but that makes me feel really good waste was like a 0.15 difference and yeah it really always helps when you just see things going in the right direction like it makes you feel really good It is about 3.30. I shot this recipe for a company. If I can link it down below, I will. It was very delicious. And I'm having the rest of this stallion pancake from last night. So I basically did the same thing as the other day where I just cooked up some lentils. I did kale and Brussels sprouts and added like the same stuff on top. I made some mini pizzas with the Joseph's pita bread. And then I had some pita bread and tzatziki. This is like a protein apple crisp. So I cut up my apple and then added vanilla protein powder, cinnamon, protein cereal, and granola. Put that in the oven, added my cocoa whip. And this comes out so good. I make this a lot and it's absolutely delicious. I love it. You gotta try it. It is currently 9.51 on Friday night, which I didn't realize it was that late. I was just doing a little bit more work and now I'm gonna read my book. I'm reading The Perfect Child. It's pretty good so far. Definitely wanna like get in there and keep reading about the story. I'll tell you macros for the day. You wanna know? You curious? 1664 calories, 85.9 grams of protein, carbs were 197 grams, and fat was 66. So we're good. We were slightly low in protein today, but that's okay. We're all great eating day, great progress. That lentil salad I've been making is really that I've been making that I made two times is really good. Those steamed lentils from Trader Joe's are such a lifesaver. I took a really nice just like shower and I exfoliated and I put cream on. I just like gave myself some time to relax. I was just I'm just tired. My body's tired, my mind's tired. So I think I'm gonna finally shut down. I'll read my book. That's that. I stayed up so I could finish the book. I don't want to spoil it in case you want to read it. It is, there was some animal abuse in there, which always makes me sad. If you've read it and you want to talk about it, feel free to like send me a message on Instagram. The whole book was good, except I don't understand what happened at the end, which seems to be a big consensus on Goodreads. Really good, like so good and creepy and disturbing and like all the things and then just a letdown. I don't know, but all right, you know, it's late. It's like 12.30, I'm going to bed. For this, I started off by sauteing up or like caramelizing some apple and banana, with a little cinnamon and maple syrup. And I'm gonna have some yogurt. Then I'm making a little breakfast wrap with the vegan just egg, vegan cheese. I'm adding a low carb tortilla. I'm gonna let that cook. And then we'll add some vegan prosciutto to it. And then once the apples and banana were all good, I added some protein cereal and some maple syrup, and that was delicious. Added my vegan prosciutto in, folded it up, cut everything up, and dug in. A delicious breakfast. So, so good. Today is the most rainy, cold, disgusting day out right now. Really nasty out. I'm going to go do a little workout. Nothing crazy. I'm pretty sore from yesterday's run, which is acceptable. I'm going to just do a lot of stretching some foam rolling and then i'll do like some light walking and i think a little ab workout keep it simple i don't even know if i'll do like a full hour workout like i usually do like or like maybe it'll be an hour for like stretching and everything but like not like a full hour of a whole workout and just keep it keep it easy but do something to move my body i don't know i get really crank like not cranky but i get like in a weird headspace when i don't work out i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but like I just start to feel like groggy and it's like, I don't know. It's different when I'm at my boyfriend's like, cause now I'm like, oh, I'm home. Like I should work out. And like tomorrow will be a rest day. So it's like, I don't know. I just always feel weird. And like when I eat breakfast without working out before in the morning, I feel like I'm not even hungry. It's just so weird. Like I couldn't ever work out early in the mornings and now my body is so used to it. Like it's just really crazy how your body adapts to things. Breakfast was still delicious this morning. You have to try doing that if you've never done that. Like just cooking up some apples and the banana and then on the yogurt, mm, so good. And then I would like to go to Marshall's today. I wanted to maybe find some new workout pants because I'm realizing that even though I have a drawer full of them, a lot of them are, have gotten a little bit big, which is fine. They're like still fine for weightlifting days, but for running days, they're just not so great. And I also just like, I haven't bought new workout clothes in probably a year. So I just figured I'll take a little look. It might be the worst idea to go to Marshall's on a rainy Saturday. I just got over Marshall's. Let me show you what I got. I actually, I was really good. I did not get too much stuff. The big thing that I really wanted to get was actually a pot that was white inside. I got this. Dutch oven, which will be really nice for making soups and stuff in. How cute is that? So pretty. The brand is Randani. It's Italian. Randani. But I figured it would be really nice. It'll look, it just looks so much nicer in videos because you guys can actually see 
what's happening when you cook. I just got some new mitts, oven mitts, so that way they just look nice in videos. The ones I have are super stained. I don't think you can ever see them that they're stained, but they are stained. Then I got my puppies. I got my puppies a present. Look, I got you presents. Pigeons. I don't know, these are so cute. And there's three of them and we have three dogs. There's like a little candy corn and a candy. I don't know, I don't know what this is. What is this? I don't know. Oh, I saw these hair clips at the checkout and I got some new hair clips. Look how cute this is. Look, a little pumpkin mug. It's like pumpkin and it has like a sweater design, it has a gold handle. So cute. You know me, I drink my tea every morning. This will be so fun to drink out of. I got three pairs of leggings that I did not try on. I have to try them on. I'm not trying them on right now. I don't freaking feel like it. These are the Yoga Licious brand, and I do happen to really love these. These are like a cool purple color. I got these in a small. So I'm trying to see because I feel like sometimes now the mediums are a little too big because that's why they're falling. So we'll see. These are a small. But then I also did get mediums and other leggings. These are these are a pretty, I like the color of these. The brand is Gaiam. G-A-I-A-M. Gaiam. Gaiam. And these I did get in a medium, so we'll see how those look and feel. And then I always love the crossover tops, and these were a crossover top. I got these in a medium just because they did look pretty tiny on top, which, I was ho which I'm hoping will be good. This brand is 90 Degree by Reflex, so we'll try those on at some point. Like I said, I don't feel like doing it right now. It is lunchtime. I'm going to be sitting for lunch. I really am in the mood to make butternut squash soup. So I think I'm going to... I'm gonna do that, even though I'm like actually very hungry, but now it's gonna take a little bit of time, but whatever. What else do I have to do? It's a rainy fall day. Okay, so I'm going to make this butternut squash soup, but I was like, how can I up the protein in this? So I added in yellow split peas. This was 167 grams. I'm going to boil these and we're gonna roast everything else in the oven. So I'm gonna put the veggies. So we're gonna do carrots, celery, obviously butternut squash, onion, some garlic, and then we're also gonna do rosemary and sage. And we're gonna put this on a sheet pan and then we're gonna pop it in the oven and let everything roast. It just makes it so much easier. I'm not gonna use all that butter and squash with the soup. <clears throat> I used like the top half. I still gotta roast this bottom half. I'm gonna do this for something else just to have some roasted butter and squash prepped. So this is what I'm gonna use for the soup. All right, so I got all the veggies on here. I added a tablespoon of olive oil, salt, pepper, and this is going into the oven to roast at 400 for, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes, however long it takes everything to get soft. So my family came home, but basically I added some creamer and non-dairy milk. The split peas were done. I added that all into a blender and just blended up a little veggie broth too until it was nice and creamy. I made a little turkey sandwich, a vegan turkey sandwich, and had some soup for lunch, and it was such a delicious combo. Hello, it is Sunday around 1, 1 1.30. So I didn't vlog dinner last night. I just had some of that leftover ramen from the other day, and then I did kind of like snack a little bit more. I kind of did calorie count it though, and I ended up kind of at like 1830 calories. Like, and this morning, so this is my like one year anniversary of my boyfriend from our first date. So we wanted to do something like a little to celebrate. So we went and got brunch at this really good restaurant and I had a breakfast burrito and I did my best to track what I think I ate of that. Obviously I'm never hundred percent sure, but the rest of the day I'll just track just so I can stay on target with my goals. The breakfast burrito was really good. It had like just egg and vegan sausage peppers, onions, and had potatoes, and had potatoes on the side, and it was really good. I didn't even eat all of it, and that's like something I just wanted to talk about is like when you do eat out, like try to eat slowly, drink your water, like, you know, just be mindful of how you're eating. Obviously enjoy your meal, have like a nice meal, and then you just, you get back on track. That's like how I've been saying this whole time. So today I'll just keep calorie counting. I'll go for more higher protein meals for the rest of the day, and just keep it, solid so it's a pretty cloudy gross day probably just relax and not do too much and yeah if i um eat anything good i'll put in snippets and whatever and otherwise i'll see you guys on monday morning i wasn't too hungry so i made this little bowl and then i made this pasta it is semolina flour and lupini beans with some tofu and salad it was really good good morning Happy Monday morning. I just finished my workout. I did an hour on the treadmill. I wanted to talk to you really quickly before I start the day because I am changing up a few things in macros and calories. So I'll tell you the new calories and macros. Obviously, these are just goals. These are guidelines. It doesn't mean I will always stick to it. As you guys have seen, like I told you I was in the 1650 to 1690 range and I usually stayed in that range, but most days I was around 1670. So I just wanna just try to see by dropping it a little bit more, not a lot. So it's 1625 is the new calorie goal. 
And the reason that I wanna do this is just because I guess maybe it's, I'm getting a little nervous. Like I do wanna lose this weight by my birthday and I might just need to drop those calories a little bit more, a little bit, a little bit stricter with the calories. Protein, 100 grams. Carbs, I'm dropping to 173 grams. This is gonna be a challenge. I don't even think I'll probably be able to meet this, but if I could keep my carbs under 200 grams a day, I feel like that might just help me to see a little bit of a difference. Again, carbs aren't bad for you. Carbs aren't the devil. Carbs are very good for you. You need them, but I also am having, I have goals that I'm trying to hit and fat's at 59. So I'm gonna try this, I'm gonna see. Let me see first of all if it's even feasible. Obviously as a vegan, you do eat like a lot of vegetables, which are a great carb, beans, a great carb. So like the carb thing might just be a little bit harder to do. We'll see. But I think the 1625 calories I can do. I just have to be good about not picking. Like that's the thing. And once I start to get a little bit picky throughout the day, like, you know, I have a few bagel chips, I have a few harvest snap peas, I have a few pieces of popcorn, a few little mini chocolate chips, right? Like those calories add up and they take away from my calories from my meals. And it's not even necessarily a hunger thing because I eat very satiating meals. It's just a like, oh, I'm in the kitchen and I could use a little, a little something in my mouth, you know? It's like something like that. It's currently 8.40. I'm gonna make some breakfast. I'm gonna make a smoothie this morning. I froze zucchini. We had a giant zucchini from our garden and I froze it. And I'm gonna try to put that in my smoothie this morning and see see how that goes. And I wore a new pair of my workout pants. They're so cute. The, all the peg lint, all the pants that I got, I was gonna say leggings and like pants came out, the plants, all the pants that I got from Marshalls are adorable. I love them all. So always check out Marshalls for good workout stuff. You do have to sometimes rummage through, but you'll find something. Um, yeah, it's a computer day and it's a rainy day and that'll be that'll be this monday i have my cup of tea wait i just have to show you guys look the marshall's mug how i mean this is like the cutest mug i drank out of my tea out of it yesterday and it just stayed hot like for a really long ass time the morning smoothie thing is spinach zucchini banana protein powder pb fit in here let's go Bella, Bella, you can't even tell there's a zucchini in here. So I'm gonna eat this. For lunch, I heated up the butternut squash soup and then I made these roasted butternut squash lentil wraps with some vegan ranch and vegan feta. It is 6.36 and it's gonna be time to make dinner in a few minutes. I don't know what I'm gonna make. I don't know what I'm in the mood for. I want something good. It's freaking freezing. Well, it feels really cold. I think it's like 50 degrees out, but it feels cold. It's just been raining all day. It's just gross out. So we'll see what I come up with. And yeah, I've just been doing computer work all day. I had so much editing to do, but I'm making great progress. And that's it. Boring day. Boring day. For dinner, I just sauteed some tofu and seasonings, and then added some buffalo sauce, and then I paired it with some Trader Joe's rice and string beans and iceberg lettuce and some vegan ranch. And then I had another yogurt bowl for dessert, just an easy dessert. It's 9.50, I'm watching Dancing with the Stars. I love Dancing with the Stars. And I was looking at Jordan Sparks' Instagram and I go check it out and it goes, follow back. She's following me, I had no idea, which is really, really cool. It's always really cool, like I will say, when you see that a celebrity is following you. Today for calories, we are at 16, 17. 109 grams of protein, 193 grams of carbs, and 54 grams of fat. Slightly over in the carbs, 20 grams over, but under the 200. We got all the calories today, so all in all, a good eating day. I'm going to actually wrap this vlog up here because as I've been editing this vlog and going along, it's very long. And I don't want the vlogs to be too, too long. And, you know, I gave you a lot of recipes and content in this video. I figured we'll just start fresh and, you know, Whatever. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being here. You get new recipes on Saturday and you get another vlog next Wednesday. And yeah, if you like the video, you know, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.